All right, CSE3200 Android Development stores Yukon. Uh, we are in chapter seven, and this is the fifth video. Um, we're in the middle of things, so I want to do a quick recap of what happened in the most recent video. Uh, we are passing information from the um, from one activity to another using intents. We're going to be starting off in the main activity, and we are sending a message to the Android operating system through an intent that we want to start something in the cheat activity. We had recently talked about we are going to be sending an extra along with that intent, and that is to put the data, um, like the, the data that is what is the value of the current question in case I want to cheat, and we're going to use intent.putExtra in order to do that. Uh, we talked about um, we are going to encapsulate that information in a companion object. And I want to put these two bits of code. You've seen them before, but I want to put these two bits of code together uh, to, to show you that what we've done on each end. So here we are in the main activity, and here we are in the cheat activity. And, um, and so we are calling on the cheat activity's new intent, which is wrapped up in this companion object, which is going to return the intent. And it is going to have, uh, I don't have this extra answer is true, but that was basically just a string constant that is in the, uh, in the cheat activity. And it had the um, reverse DNS uh, notation in it, along with like at the end, answer is true. And, um, and that's just to avoid collisions because intents can be coming from lots of different places. Uh, the answer is true is going to come from the, uh, the, the main activity. Let me find it here. All right, so it's here in the main activity and we are getting it from, go even further back, we're gonna get it from, here's our quiz view model that we have in main activity and we are going to fetch from that class current question answer. So uh, from the quiz view model, we are going where we now have our, um, our question bank stored and, the, um, and all the ways to navigate around that information. We are going to get that from the quiz view model. We're going to send it to the main activity. We're going to pass it along as our extra, and it's going to be received by the um, it's going to be received by the cheat activity. So in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to extract that information on the cheat activity side. We are going to wire up the cheat, uh, the show cheat button in the uh, cheat activity. And then we're going to test our app and see if it's working. All right, let's get to it. So on the cheat side, the cheat activity side, in order to unpack, extract the extra, we are going to use the, the function intent.getBooleanExtra. And uh, the first argument is a string, and the second is going to be a, a default value. Uh, so the, the string is going to be the, the same as the, um, the one that was passed in as a key value pair. It was the key um, from the main activity. So this is the string that had the reverse DNS notation. Uh, and the second value is going to be our default. In this case, false, which is probably a good idea because remember that this is have you cheated yet? And false is probably the best default as opposed to true. Okay, so we're gonna make um, these two edits in our code. We're going to uh, put in cheat activity. Answer is true, starting off with a default value of false. And then uh, in the onCreate, we are going to then set it to intent dot get boolean extra. Um, and then these two values here. So that is the unpacking of the information from the intent that was passed from the main and through the activity manager. So let's get that done. All right, I am in the cheat activity and then I'm gonna put private var answer is true give it a default value of false up here. And 
and then answer is true is equal to intent dot get boolean extra passing in extra answer is true and our default value of false. It's right there, it tells me that's what it is, is a default value. Okay, answer is true, misspelled. All right, so now we are going to wire up our uh, show answer button. Binding dot show answer, okay, dot instead of comma, dot show answer button, dot set on click listener, get rid of the parentheses, put curly braces, okay, so now we are going to want to return, say, well, this is just going to be whether you're, this is just going to be returning true or false. So uh, val answer text. We're going to set the answer text when answer is true. Then we are going to make set answer text to r dot string dot true button. So that will take the text that from the true button, which is true, else r dot string dot false button. Okay. Binding dot. Um, so this is we are. I said we were going to. Uh, we were going to. Um, we we're going to wire up the show cheat button or show answer button. We're also going to wire up the answer text view with one quick line. Binding answer text view. Dot set text to answer text. Okay, let's see if this is running. So what I'm looking for now is that I can, from the main window, actually get over to my new screen, my cheat activity, and then I will check to see that uh, I can get that true or false to show up. Okay, so let's hit cheat. Good, we got over to our uh, cheat activity. I will show answer, and that's all that's gonna do, but I did expect true there. We're gonna use the back button to get back to our main activity, and then we could go to, let's go to one of the questions that is false, the Suez Canal question, and we'll hit cheat, and we'll hit show answer, and we got false, all right. Um, so that's going to wrap up video number five. In video four, we sent the intent from the main to the cheat activity to load up our new screen that we can interact with. And uh, in this video, we unpacked the extra that was attached to that intent. And we, uh, so we could take out that true or that false. And we wired up our show answer button and we wired up this text view, which is going to show the true or false. Okay, I will see you in video six.